Angelina Jolie, Part 12. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. We continue the examination of Angelina Jolie by now taking a look at her charitable and philanthropic work, which is extensive. She first witnessed the effects of a humanitarian crisis while filming Lara Croft Tomb Raider in war-torn Cambodia, an experience she later credited with having brought her a greater understanding of the world. When she returned home, she contacted the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees for information on international trouble spots. To learn more about the conditions in these areas, she began visiting refugee camps around the world. In February 2001, she went on her first field visit, an 18-day mission to Sierra Leone and Tanzania. She later expressed her shock at what she had witnessed. In the following months, Jolie returned to Cambodia for two weeks and met with Afghan refugees in Pakistan, where she donated $1 million in response to an international UNHCR emergency appeal, the largest donation that UNHCR had received from a private individual. She covered all costs related to her missions and shared the same rudimentary working and living conditions as UNHCR field staff on all of her visits. Jolie was named a UNHCR Goodwill Ambassador at UNHCR headquarters in Geneva on August 27, 2001. These behaviours would appear to demonstrate emotional empathy by getting in contact and being involved, using her wealth to assist. Or is it the case that this is merely part of a facade that is generated which she utilises to con people into believing that she's a good person? You need to sit this amongst all of the other evidence to make a determination of which way it goes. Over the next decade, she went on more than 40 field missions, meeting with refugees and internally displaced persons in over 30 countries. In 2002, when asked what she hoped to accomplish, she stated, Awareness of the plight of these people. I think they should be commended for what they have survived, not looked down upon. An exhibition of emotional empathy again? or perhaps cognitive empathy. Jolie aimed to visit what she termed forgotten emergencies, crises that a media attention had shifted away from. She became noted for travelling to war zones, such as Sudan's Darfur region during the Darfur conflict, the Syrian-Iraqi border during the Second Gulf War, where she met privately with US troops and other multinational forces in the Afghan capital Kabul during the war in Afghanistan, where three aid workers were murdered in the midst of her first visit. This travel to the forgotten emergencies and war zones is this evidence of a brave woman exhibiting tremendous emotional empathy, or is this an individual that doesn't experience fear and therefore will go where angels fear to tread and passes it off as showing compassion? To aid her travel, she began taking flying lessons in 2004 with the aim of ferrying aid workers and food supplies around the world. Jolie acquired a pilot license in 2004. As of May 2014, she owns a Cirrus SR-22 aircraft and a Cessna 208 aircraft, caravan aircraft. On the 17th of April 2012, after more than a decade of service as a UNHCR Goodwill Ambassador, Jolie was promoted to the rank of Special Envoy to High Commissioner Antonio Guterres, the first to take on such a position within the organisation. In her expanded role, she was given authority to represent Guterres and UNHCR at the diplomatical, diplomatic level, with a focus on major refugee crises. In the months following her promotion, she made her first visit as Special Envoy, her third overall to Ecuador, where she met with Colombian refugees. And she accompanied Guterres on a week-long tour of Jordan, Lebanon, Turkey and Iraq to assess the situation of refugees from neighbouring Syria. Since then, Jolie has been on over a dozen field missions around the world to meet with refugees and undertake advocacy on their behalf. Jolie resigned from the ambassadorship in December 2022. In her announcement, she pledged to continue to advocate for refugees. Is all of this the behaviour of a compassionate individual driven by emotional empathy, or is it simply showcasing on her behalf? In an effort to connect her Cambodian-born adopted son with his heritage, Jolie purchased a house in his country of birth in 2003. 
The traditional home sat on 39 hectares in the northwestern province Batambang, adjacent to San Lu National Park in the Karamom Mountains, which had become infiltrated with poachers who threatened endangered species. She purchased the park's 60,000 hectares and turned the area into a wildlife reserve named for her son, the Maddox Jolie Project. In recognition of her conservation efforts, King Norodom Shiamoni awarded her Cambodian citizenship on July the 31st, 2005. Exhibition of emotional empathy or grandiosity in using her wealth to obtain prestige and status for her and her son. In November 2006, Jolie expanded the scope of the project, renamed the Maddox Jolie Pitt Foundation to create Asia's first millennium village in accordance with UN development goals. She was inspired by a meeting with the founder of Millennium Promise, noted economist Jeffrey Sachs, at the World Economic Forum in Davos, where she was an invited speaker in 2005 and 2006. Together they filmed a 2005 MTV special, The Diary of Angelina Jolie and De Dr. Jeffrey Sachs in Africa, which followed them on a trip to a millennium village in western Kenya. By mid-2007, some 6,000 villagers and 72 employees, some of them former poachers employed as rangers, lived and worked at MJP in 10 villages previously isolated from one another. The compound includes schools, roads and a soy milk factory, all funded for by Jolie. Her home functions as the MJP field headquarters. After filming Beyond Borders in Namibia, Jolie became patron of the Harness Wildlife Foundation, a wildlife orphanage and medical center in the Kalahari Desert. She first visited the Harness Farm during production of the film, which features vultures rescued by the foundation. In December 2010, Jolie and her partner Brad Pitt established the Shilo Jolie Pitt Foundation to support conservation work by the Nankuzi Wildlife Sanctuary, a nature reserve also located in the Kalahari. In name of their Namibian-born daughter, they have funded large animal conservation projects as well as a free health clinic, housing and a school for the San Bushman community at Nanakusa. Jolie has pushed for legislation to aid child immigrants and vulnerable children in both the United States and developing nations, including the Unaccompanied Alien Child Protection Act of 2005. She began lobbying humanitarian interests in the U.S. Capitol from 2003 onwards, explaining, As much as I would love to never have visit Washington, that's the way to move the ball. Since October 2008, she has co-chaired Kids in Need of Defense, KIND, a network of leading U.S. law firms that provide free legal aid to unaccompanied minors in immigration proceedings across the United States. Founded in a collaboration between Jolie and the Microsoft Corporation by 2013, KIND has become the principal provider of pro bono lawyers for immigrant children. Jolie had previously, from 2005 to 2007, funded the launch of a similar initiative, the U.S. Committee for Refugees and Immigrants National Center for Refugee and Immigrant Children. Jolie has also advocated for children's education. Since its founding at the Clinton Global Initiative's annual meeting in September 2007, she has co-chaired the Education Partnership for Children of Conflict, which provides policy and funding to education programs for children in conflict-affected conflict regions. In its first year, the partnership supported education projects for Iraqi refugee children, youth affected by the Darfur conflict and girls in rural Afghanistan, among other affected groups. Jolie has funded a school and boarding facility for girls at Kakuma Refugee Camp in northwestern Kenya, which opened in 2005, and two primary schools for girls in the returnee settlements, Tangi and Kolali Gudar in East Afghanistan, which opened in March 2010 and November 2012 respectively. In addition to the facilities at the Millennium Village she established in Cambodia, Jolie had built at least 10 other schools in the country by 2005. In February 2006, she opened the Maddox Shivan Children's Centre, a medical and educational facility for children affected by HIV in the Cambodian ca capital. In Sabeta, Ethiopia, the birthplace of her eldest daughter, she funds a sister facility, the Zara Zahara Children's Centre, which treats and educates children who have HIV or tuberculosis. Both centres are run by the Global Health Committee. 
Joe Lee is the executive producer of the BBC programme My World, which aims to teach teenagers how to think critically about what they read and how to tell high-quality journalism from bad. She and Amnesty International released a children's rights book entitled Know Your Rights and Claim Them on September the 2nd, 2021. She co-authored the book with British human rights lawyer Geraldine Van Buren. After Jolie joined the Council on Foreign Relations in June 2007, she hosted a symposium on international law and justice at CFR headquarters and funded several CFR special reports, including Intervention to Stop Genocide and Mass Atrocities. In January 2011, she established the Jolie Legal Fellowship, a network of lawyers and attorneys who are sponsored to advocate the development of human rights in their countries. Its member attorneys, called Jolie Legal Fellows, have facilitated child protection efforts in Haiti in the wake of the 2010 earthquake and promoted the development of an inclusive democratic process in Libya following the 2011 revolution. Jolie has fronted a campaign against sexual violence in military conflict zones by the UK government, which made the issue a priority of its 2013 G8 presidency. In May 2012, she launched the Preventing Sexual Violence Initiative with Foreign Secretary William Hague, who was inspired to campaign on the issue by her Bosnian war drama in the land of blood and honey. PSVI was established to complement wider UK government work by raising awareness and promoting international cooperation. Through her work on the PSVI, Jolie met foreign policy experts Chloe Dalton and Armin Kahelik, who served as special advisors to Hague. Their collaboration resulted in the 2015 founding of the Jolly Pitt Dalton Helic, a partnership dedicated to women's rights and international justice, among other causes. In May 2016, Jolie was appointed a visiting professor at the London School of Economics to contribute to a postgraduate degree programme at the University Centre on Women, Peace and Security, which she had launched with Hague the previous year. In February 2022, Jolie, with her daughter Zahara, visited Washington, D.C. for the Senate induction, Introduction of the Violence Against Women Reauthorization Act, a bill designed to prevent and respond to domestic violence, sexual assault, dating violence and stalking. She worked closely with the bill's sponsors and advocates. She's also an advocate for Caden's Law, a law focuses on trauma-informed court processes, legal standards and judicial training that minimizes the risk of harm to children. In September 2020, Jolie made a donation to two young boys who were running a lemonade stand in London to raise money for the people of Yemen as the country was on the brink of humanitarian crisis caused by the Saudi-led coalition and Houthi rebels. In March 2022, a month into the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Jolie visited Ukrainian children at the Vatican Children's Hospital Bambino Gesu. According to the clinic, Jolie commented, I am praying for an end to the war. This is the only way to end the suffering and the flight from the conflict zone. It's terrifying to see children paying the price in lost lives, compromised health and trauma. In May 2022, Jolie visited Ukraine to meet more displaced and hospitalised children. Jolie has received wide recognition for her humanitarian work. Is this the driver behind why she does it? Because she wants to be recognised? Or is this simply a collateral consequence of her emotional empathy? In August 2002, she received the inaugural Humanitarian Award from the Church World Service's Immigration and Refugee Programme. And in October 2003, she was the first recipient of the Citizens of the World Award by the United Nations Correspondents Association. She was awarded the Global Humanitarian Award by the UNA USA in October 2005, and she received the Freedom Award from the International Rescue Committee in November 2007. In October 2011, UN High Commissioner for Refugees Antonio Guterres presented Jolie with a gold pin reserved for the most long-serving staff in recognition of her decade as a UNHCR Goodwill Ambassador. In November 2013, Jolie received the Jean Herschel Humanitarian Award, an Honorary Academy Award from the Board of Governors of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. In June 2014, she was appointed as Honorary Dame Commander of the Order of St. Michael and St. George for her services to the UK's foreign policy and campaigning to end sexual violence in war zones. Queen Elizabeth II presented Jolie with the insignia of her Honorary Damehood during a private ceremony the following October. A substantial body of humanitarian work, perhaps the largest that one might have witnessed in relation to a film star or celebrity. It's certainly the case that she uses her wealth to effect and has given of much of her time. Contrast that with many individuals who just pay lip service to these things. Is this 
as a consequence of the existence of emotional empathy showing her genuine care and compassion or is it simply that she gets off on the provision of assistance because it makes her look good and enables her to go to places where it stimulates her and alleviates boredom we have to look at all of this of course in the round with all of the other evidence now we're going to turn to the issue of her relationship with brad pitt in the next part join me there 